Good morning, my name is Heather Wolf and I'm the Director of Church Outreach here at Woodridge. And really just what that means is, is I have the pleasure of coordinating all of all our local mission opportunities um, enable us to meet the needs of our neighbors around us. Um, because I'm relatively new on staff, some of you guys may know me because I've been here before. I'm also one of like 20 wolves um, at this church, so it's true. <laughs> But um, I just wanted to take a couple minutes just to give you a brief introduction of who I am and my heart for this ministry. Um, I have been a former teacher the last four years right around the corner at Riverwood. I'm also married to a teacher, um, Rex, he teaches at Kingwood High School. And so I definitely have a heart for education. I definitely have a heart for kids and students and the work that is done there. Um, I have three boys of my own, uh, ages 7 to 12, Micah, Caleb, JT. Uh, we also have currently foster two boys, ages 4 and 7, so there's a lot of crazy up in my house. Um, I joke that I come to the office to get my sanity. Um, but really what I want to start with or what I want to share today is just my why. Um, I had a graduate school professor. I went to a and for my undergrad and graduate, grew up in Bryant, the Bryant College Station area, so I stayed close to home. But this professor in graduate school, he would literally for three hours, because we had class once a week, for three hours would just sit there and ask us why. So we'd answer a question, well, why? And he would just go on and on until he felt like we really got to the heart of an issue. And so when I see needs, when I see people, it's taught me to kind of ask why, what's going on, where's that at? Um, and so when it comes to missions and the work there, um, I really, want us to be people-centered and people-focused. And that doesn't mean that we won't meet just physical needs, because you gotta start there. But behind every physical need is a person, is a story. Um, and with that builds community. My past experiences just with working with students and then also working with kids with foster care. Um, I know I've gotten to know the stories of the kids that are in my home, but I've also gotten to know the stories of their parents. Um, and I know that I could stop at a name, or I know that when I've learned their names and I've learned their stories and I've learned their struggles and their fears, but also their hopes and their dreams, that that's where the real work has been done. Um, and that's where, yeah, loving people is rough and it's hard and it takes work. Um, and in fact, sometimes I joke that I don't like people, but it's not that I don't like people. I sometimes don't like the work that goes along with loving people. Um, but there is where I've seen the goodness of God um, and that tension with hard and good and we found the common ground uh, with our foster, with our birth parents. We found just that common ground that we both love the kids. Um, and with that, it's, it's not that so much that we're both bringing something to the table because we're both bringing that love, but we're also experiencing that community. And that's what I think God intended when he built people for relationships is that community that we get to stand in the gap for each other. My hope for missions is that we all can experience Ephesians 3, 17 through 19, which says, And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. And I love this verse because it talks about being rooted and established. So we know that this world's a tough and a broken place. Uh, it can easily move us and sway us, but that we're rooted. But it also talks about together with the Lord's holy people. And I love that as well because it says that that's what we're doing. We're grasping this and we're experiencing this together, even as we're going through the hardships of life, even as we're going through these struggles. Um, so that we may know the love of Christ and experience the fullness of His measure. And that's my hope. But my hope is that we do that together as we love people together, as we learn their stories together.